Hello Chameleon Academy, this is Bill Strand and we're back talking about spring cages for chameleons. As promised, today we're going to be talking about turning your standard screen cage and making it an outdoor cage. And the reason why we want to do this is because uh, outdoors is magic for chameleons. The natural unfiltered sunlight, the breezes, the ebb and flow of humidity, the sunrise and sunset, it all comes together to make a very nice experience for your chameleon. Of course, that's only if the uh, environmental conditions that you have are right for the species that you have. Now, the biggest danger when you're going outside is the sun. Uh, as wonderful as the, that unfiltered sunlight is, it is strong. And that strong sunlight could easily dehydrate and kill a chameleon. And that's why whenever we keep a chameleon outside, uh, it is absolutely critical that there's a dense leafy plant layer that the chameleon can hide in and get away from the sun. In addition to that, we want the bottom of the cage to be a soil layer. If the bottom of the cage is the standard cage floor that comes with these cages, it's very easy for the sun's rays to bounce off the floor and cook the chameleon from underneath, whereas the sun is cooking them from above and they get it from both sides, and that's not a good situation. And so what we want is a uh, soil floor to this cage. Now, the way I achieve this is I take our standard two by two by four foot tall screen cage and I put it on top of a planter box. And this planter box actually has wheels. So I can roll it around so it's in an appropriate place, whether in the sun or in the shade. So let's go over how I do this. The first thing I do is I make a very strong uh, bottom frame. And the idea behind this is it's gotta be strong enough to support casters. And those are industrial strength wheels that will allow us to make this cage mobile. But for that, of course, you're going to need a very strong base. I use four x four lumber for this. Once I have that strong wheel base, I actually put the floor that comes with the cage, the PVC floor, I put that on top of the wheel base. This gives me a very convenient floor and the PVC is not going to degrade when it's in contact with water. On top of this, I put two layers of walls made by two by sixes. And so it gives me a little under a 12 inch deep planter box. I can drill drainage holes in the bottom floor and I can seal it up with silicon. Now the wood itself, I've already sealed before I even start putting it together. All of this wood and uh, the PVC floor are gonna be in contact with soil. And so that is very tough on wood. But I have found even with the soft white pine, if I seal it correctly, it'll actually stay around for a while. I have used pressure treated lumber before and as you would expect, it does last a long time. But there is controversy as to what about all those chemicals and what will it do to uh, any life inside. And so I'm going to, at this point, I'm gonna leave that up to you to decide what you want to do. I personally made one of these planter box cages using pressure treated lumber. It's worked fine for the last seven years, but I still don't feel like I'm in a position to say, don't worry about it, it's not a problem. I just have one data point. Now on all of this, I put on two handles so I can easily move the, uh, the planter box cage around. I put the cage on top of the planter itself and I literally screw the bottom frame down into the planter and so I have a solid connection. Once that's done, all you have to do is put in the normal branch structure and then heavily plant the cage. This is a perfect opportunity to use those flowering vines and some of those plants that just don't do well indoors because they need full sunlight. Well, here's your opportunity to use that hibiscus. If you have a number of these next to each other, uh, standard shade cloth can be used as a visual barrier that will still allow uh, the, the airflow to go through. Now, sunlight is our biggest challenge. The next biggest challenge is predators. There's a lot of things out there that would love to eat a chameleon. Anything from ants to rats to raccoons to hawks. And these things won't have a problem getting through the standard aluminum screening. So you need to understand and accept the risk that you're under. Now, that said, in the last 10 years that I've been doing this, I've actually never had a break-in into this type of cage. The only time I've ever had uh, a rat get into these cages is actually when I had it inside the garage during very cold weather. And it probably was going after crickets or something else that I had left in the cage. That was a learning experience for me because I didn't expect the problems to be in the garage. I expected them to be out in the yard, but I've actually never had a problem in the yard. That said, it doesn't mean that you won't have that problem. 
I had a friend that told me that bears in his area had learned that anything human made were good to get into. And so in that case, yeah, this may be a problem. So before you do this, be aware of the surroundings. But when it's safe, this is a highly effective way for your chameleon to be able to get some uh, unfiltered sunlight and you're just moving that cage around so it gets the optimal amount of sunlight. In the winter, it's probably out in the open to get as much sunlight as possible. In the summer, it's probably in the shade so it only gets sunlight uh, in the morning hours. Watering can be a permanent outdoor misting system or you can just have a mist attachment for your hose and you manually water it. So whatever fits what you're doing. And if the nights get too cold, then there's no problem uh, either rolling this into the garage for the warmth there, or else if your chameleon is tame enough, you can remove the chameleon and have an indoor cage and an outdoor cage. Either way, this is a great way to give your chameleon uh, unfiltered sunlight and give them the benefits of being outdoors. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to be talking about an outdoor screen cage project for babies. This Daily Touchpoint episode is just one in a whole series on chameleon screen cages. If you missed any of the episodes, you can go to the beginning of the series here, and when it's released, you'll be able to see the next episode here. Subscribe to Chameleon Academy and catch them all. Thanks for joining me here. I'll see you tomorrow.